Good morning, everyone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, okay na. Thank you. Uh, give me enough time because I'm not going to lay hands. All right? Uh, uh, take away the echo. Please, nage echo ko. Uh, yung teaching ko or preaching, whatever it may be, pareho lang dito. I talked about the word restoration last Sunday at 4 o'clock. And now, I'm assigned to do it again. And glory to God. Kasi uh, marami kasing realization. And I've received uh, messages of how we should all be reminded of this word restoration. Amen? Can you say restoration? restoration. All right. You know, last year, April eh, 2023, sinabi ko sa inyo na yon ang year of restoration, rest, year of conformity. All right? Pray muna nga tayo. Panginoon, marami pong salamat sa iyong kabutihan. Lord, take away anything that will distract your children from receiving the message. Take away any clutter in our hearts, in our minds. Linisi mo po ang aming puso para matanggap ang iyong pagtuturo. God, you're good. So today, we will receive this gladly in our hearts. Alisin mo po yung mga hindrances. In the mighty name of Jesus, rebuking every hindrances now in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. 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 So last year was the year, hindi pa pwede i-ano, nag-ano sa akin eh. Sa tenga ko. Ako ba yun? Oo eh. Okay, the year to conform to God's standard. Pwedeng alisin ng konti. Wala pa? Konti pa. Alright. So, kung last year was the year to conform, God's, to conform to God's standard, ang question ko, umayon ba tayo sa standard ng Diyos o sa standard ng, Pangino- ng mundo? Siyempre, sabi niyo sa akin, standard of God. Which we all want. Kaya, if you really did, you all, and you really walked in conformity to the Word of God, to the commands of God, then you can really do and understand what I'm saying for this year, 2024, which is, which is the year of ruling and reigning. It is the year to rule and reign, sinabi ko na to. Ito ang taon ng paghahari ng mga anak ng Diyos. I know many people will say, don't get me wrong, okay? Hindi laging ruling and reigning ka, pero gusto ko lang sabihin sa iyo, hindi ka makakarule and reign kung ang Panginoon ay hindi nananahan at nagahari sa puso mo. It has to be your heart first. So last year, anong ginawa ko? Nagturo ako about identity. Nagturo ako about authority. I zeroed in on that. But the word restoration which the Lord gave me in 2023, hindi ko to na ituro. Naubos ang oras ko sa pagtuturo ng identity and authority. I talked about the kingdom of God in my leadership and in my life group. Hindi ko maintindihan, but hindi ako nakapagturo about the word restoration. Now I know why. Because I have to make sure na uunawaan nyo ang identity, na uunawaan nyo ang authority nyo. Hello, children of God. Kasi kapag naunawaan nyo to at nagconform kayo sa standard ng Panginoon, according to His will, according to His word, then definitely you will rule and reign, come on, this year, 2024. So for those, that's why Bishop used the word remnant. May ginamit siyang word na remnant. The remnant are those who are set aside, who knows their authority and power, who conforms to the standard of this world with the mind that is renewed and the heart that is restored, then definitely makakarule and reign ka sa ngayon at sa susunod pang mga panahon. Amen! Alright, you cannot say to me, Pastora, I will rule and reign, but look into your heart. Okay? Kaya doon sa nakakaunawa ng mga pagtuturo natin, sabihin mo, restoration. restoration. Dahil Tagalog service, Taglish tayo, so I will do Tagalog and so forth. And what is restoration? Pagpapanumbalik, sabi sa, sa 
Tagalog Dictionary. It's synonymous to repairing. Nire-repair, kinukumpune. Like if the old houses, pag may mga luma natin, mga houses, nung unang panahon ng Spanish, ang ganda pag nire-restore. Di ba? Minsan mas maganda pa. So, or returning to a previous state of being. Pagbabalik sa dating kalagayan. Some cars are being restored. The vintage cars, ganyan gumaganda. Di ba? You know, in Genesis 1, 27, 28, can you just flow with me? I, I don't know if you have my... Notes last Sunday. So Genesis 1, 27, 28, God said, God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him, male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them. Kita nyo, male and female, ang ginawa ng Diyos, at ang sabi, God blessed them. Pinagpala muna ng Diyos, pa, ang, ang babae at lalaki, para makagawa, hello, kailang i-bless ka. Tell your neighbor, God bless you. Para magawa nila ang dapat gawin. So without the blessing of God, it will be very hard for humanity to do or to to do the will of God as well stewardship. Sa unang una in the beginning, God gave the rulership at dominion and power sa kanyang nilalang. But of course, we know may nangyari. Utos na yon. Magsabi ng panginoon sa kanila o oh, basahin natin. And God said to them, be fruitful. And multiply. Wow. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion. Maghari kayo over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living, living things that moves on the earth. So sinasabi ng Panginoon sa kay Adan at kay Eva, simula't simula pa mga kapatid, nasa utak ng Diyos, nasa mind niya to affect na ang kanyang nilalang should affect and steward, alagaan ang kanyang ginawang planet, ang kanyang earth. Amen? So dapat nasa atin na yon. But because ano nangyari? Man fell. Nagkasala, pinalaya sa paraiso, at dahil nga nagkasala sila, ang kasalanan ay nandyan sa puso nila, you know, inalis ng Diyos, hindi actually Pinaalis sila ng Diyos, okay? At ano naging effect nito? The rulership and dominion that was granted to man and woman ang nangyari napunta kay Satan. Man handed it over to Satan. So the rulership, that's why Satan is called the God of this age, the God of this world. Ibinigay ng tao ang paghahari. That's why this world is so dark. Because Satan is ruling it. Alam mo bang napakaitim at dilim, madilim ang mundo? Tama? So, but God, say, you know, but God, pakisabi niyo, but God. He loves the world. He loves us so much. Sapagkat gayon na lamang ang pag-ibig ng Diyos. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son. Come on. That whosoever believe in Him. Hello. Naniniwala ba tayo sa ginawa ng Panginoon? Should not perish but have everlasting life. You know, yun ang, ang napakabuti ng Diyos. Narinig ko nga si Pastora Kata. Grabe! Nabisita ka ba? Nahipo ka ba ng Diyos sa ating worship? Grabe naman pag hindi mo ka pa naman nahipo, di ba? So that's a God encounter. But because now you have, if you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, Panginoon siya ng buhay mo, now you can say that you are now redeemed and you are now reconciled to your original position of dominion. Hello? Kaya dapat kung alam mo na restore ka na, alam mo na tinubos ka, ikaw ay ngayon dapat maghari over everything that God has given you. Amen? And so this, this is now, that this is the good news. The good news is that you are back in that original position of ruling and reigning. Hallelujah! With Christ while here on earth. Kaya sinasabi sa book na Ephesians that you are seated with Christ in heavenly places. That speaks of honor and authority. Amen. You are sitting next to God, to Jesus Himself, up there in heaven, ruling and reigning. Bumalik ka na sa dati mong position. What a good news, right? Yes, sobra, grabe talagang Panginoon. That's why, that is the first restoration. 
The first restoration, I look at it, is when your spirit man is now redeemed in Christ. And the Spirit of God, whom you accepted, if you have accepted the Holy Spirit, is now living inside you. Ang Dios, ang banal na Espiritu ay nananahan sa iyong puso. Do I hear an amen? amen? If you're not sure, I want you to receive the Holy Spirit in your heart. Amen? Some people will say, and they think, born again na sila. Kasi lumaki sila sa isang pamilyang born again. Or lumaki sila, ang tatay nila, pastor. Pero actually, they could have probably received Jesus Christ. But, you know, how come they're not walking right? Or 20 years na sila, ganun pa rin, walang transformation. It is the Holy Spirit who will change you. So it's so important you accept Jesus Christ and receive His Holy Spirit. Do I hear an amen? amen. Kung walang nababago sa'yo, kapatid, you have to examine your heart. Nandito ba talaga banal na Espiritu sa akin? All right? Now, so that is so important. You need to understand you're restored and the big price Jesus paid, walang makakagawa nun. That's why your restoration, your restoration is already paid. Amen? Hallelujah! Palakpa natin ang Panginoon. Now, the word restoration is so good. I do not even know what to title this, you know, message. I know it's restoration. But gusto kong title lang to lang, Enough, Satan! Tapos ka na! Today is our day of restoration! Amen? Enough is enough! Do you want to stop the devil from stealing from you? Ngayon, mag-isip ka, ano mga ninakaw ng Diablo sa buhay mo na gusto mong ibalik ni Lord? So habang nagpipreach ako ngayon, nag-iisip ka na. Kasi mamaya, magwa-warfare tayo after this teaching or preaching at aalisin na at uutusan natin siyang ibalik sa atin kung ano man ang mga ninakaw niya. Amen? Amen? Meron ba dito hindi ninakawan? Bukang lahat naman tayo? ba? Okay, so what are the things that you want God to restore back to your life? Restoration of life. May istorya sa restoration of life. Restoration of life. Sino-sino ang unang papasok sa isip mo? Sino bang binuhay ni Lord? Si Lazarus. Iba siya yung unang story of restoration na mapapasok sa isip mo. And I can always also think of that in the book of 2 Kings, yung Shunammite na binigyan ng anak as kinuha yung anak na matay. Pero ano ginawa ni Elisha? Biglang, di ba? Binuhay niya. Restoration of life. How about restoration of honor? Sino maging, ang maisip ko, isa sa story is Mephibosheth. Anak, napakahirap sabi ng pangalan niya. Okay? Si Mephibosheth, anak yan ni David. Nagkaroon ng, ng dumating yung time na natalo ang sila. Tapos ang nangyari, nando si Haring David sa pagmamad, ay, nag, nagmamadali pala yung taga-alaga, yung caregiver ni Mephibosheth. Bata pa siya. Anak siya ni, De, ni Jonathan. So dumating, Anak siya ni Jonathan, nagmamadali si caregiver na ibagsak ang bata, naging lumpo. So naging lumpo siya, pero naitago niya si Mephibosheth. Hanggang dumating yung time si David, ang nakaupo na sa trono, at ang sabi niya, sino ba, may anak pa ba, ba si Jonathan dito na buhay? Kasi gusto kong i-honor. Kaibigan kasi niya si Jonathan, may covenant siya. Tapos sinabi, o si, si Babayon, ang pakalan ng caregiver, as pinakita si Ziva, sinabi niya, yes, there's still one son na nandito. At ni-restore ni David si Mephibosheth sa royalty. So honor is given back to him. At kumakain pa siya sa hapag ng hari. Another thing is the restoration of wealth. Sino yung grabe ang paghihirap tapos ni-restore ni, Lo ni Lord ang lahat ng kanyang kayamanan? Si Job, grabe na wala lahat, nasunog lahat, namatay lahat, na wala ninakaw ang ari-arian niya, pero ano nangyari? Ni-restore siya ni Lord, double pa. Siksik, liglig, umaapaw, at ang sabi ng salita, better than before, at pinakamaganda pa yung mga anak niyang namatay, pinalita na mas maganda sa buong bansa nila. Napakabuti ng Diyos. Si Lord kasi pag ninakaw ng demonyo, kaya niya ibalik at mas maganda pa. 
Kaya yung mga iniisip mo, kapatid, naku na wala, naku doble balik ni Lord. Sayang si boyfriend na gwapo, mas gwapo babalik. Say, naku, wag mong, pag kinuha ni Lord, mas maganda babalik. Amen? Restoration of health. Ay na po, napakaraming story ng restoration of health. Mga healing, tama? Mga deliverance, tama ba? Ang iba sa inyo, patutuo na. Oh. Come on. So ngayon, ang isang favorite, ang favorite ko, si Bartimaeus. Si Bartimaeus is blind. Mark 10, verses 48 to 52. Bulag po siya. E isang araw dadating si ang Panginoong Jesus sa Jericho. So ang nangyari, nabalitaan niya. At maraming mga multitude, yan po istorya, just go flow with me dahil ang gusto kong magsalita na magsalita. Okay? Kasi yung oras ko, kaya bilisan niyo pakikinig. Okay? <laughs> So yung oras ko, so there's a great multitude, si Blind Bartimaeus na nandoon, nakaupo, narinig niya dadating si Jesus sa Jericho. So he began to cry out, tumpadaan na si Lord, sumigaw siya, humingi, um, sumigaw siya ng sumigaw, Son of David, have mercy on me. At ano ang nangyari? May mga nasa paligid niya, narinig ng Panginoon, pero may mga nasa paligid niya at ang sabi sa kanya, shh, manahimik ka. Lakas ng boses mo. Alam nyo, ganyan ang kaaway. Habang umiiyak ka sa Panginoon, may nasasabihin sa iyo, manahimik ka. Minsan, isip mo. Minsan, yung kaaway mo. Minsan, gagamitin yung Asher. Hmm? Manahimik ka. Okay? <laughs> Biro lang, Asher. Love you guys. di ba? Hindi ba? Lalo na pa ang lakas ng tanks ni Kata. Marabasa, marabasa. Sasabihin sa'yo, manahimik ka. Hindi, biro. Biro lang po. Hindi po ganun sa river of God. Hallelujah. Kami po. Sige pa, sige pa. Hindi ba? Baliktad nga dito eh. Okay? So, yun po. Kaya po, sabi ng mga tao sa kanya, Oh, and ano lang sabi? Manahimik siya. Kasi narinig siya ng Panginoon. Tinawag siya. And throwing aside his garment, he rose and came to Jesus. Verse 51. So Jesus answered and said to him, What do you want me to do for you? Wow, mga kapatid, ginigising ka kita ngayon. Tinatanong ni Lord, What do you want me to do for you? Wow. Minsan tinanong sa akin ni Lord John, Speechless, hindi ako nakasagot. Lord, hindi ako ready. Dapat pala iniisip mo na, no? <laughs> Kailangan ready ka pagka tinanong ni Lord. Then Jesus said to him, Go your way, your faith has made you well. And immediately, he received his sight and followed Jesus on the road. Kita nyo to tinanong siya ni Jesus at yung kanyang pananampalataya, agad-agad nagbalik ang kanyang paningin. Grabe, binalik ni Lord kaagad yung kanyang ano, paningin. Walang imposible. Blindness. But church, I just want you to... To think about this, the Lord can restore it immediately. Kaagad-agad. Kaya ni Lord. Magugulat ka, nagpe-pray ka pa lang, sinagot na. Look at the, the testimony of Bishop. Nag-Jericho match pa lang kayo. But in the spirit, sinanagot na ni Lord. Early that morning, nagbabattle na kami in the spirit. Lord, hipuin mo po ang puso ni Pastor. Praise God. Grabe, laki ng discount. Praise the Lord. Salamat, Pastor Ian. Pagpalain ka pabalik ni Lord. ba? What you sow is what you reap. Pagpapalain siya ng higit. So mga kapatid, what have you lost? Ano ang ninakaw ng jablo sa'yo? Your spouse? Yung asawa mo? Yung anak mo? Kaibigan? Mga kamag-anak? Ano yung mga bagay-bagay na ninakaw sa'yo ng kalaban? Isip, isip. Trabaho? Your work, your business, tinakaawang ka ba dyan? Your wealth, kayamanan, kalusugan, kapayapaan. Dami, di ba? Isip. Ninakaw ba niya yung mga oras mo sa iyong pamilya? Ninakaw ba niya yung years na pinatahimik ka? Sayang. Minsan naiisip mo, bumagal ako, tuloy ako sa pabunta ko, sa destiny ko. Kasi nakinig ako sa kalaban. Listen, this is serious. Marami sa atin. Ano yung mga opportunities na binigay ni Lord? Hindi ko sinarado ko yung pinto. Ano yung mga ginawa, niyang, ginawa mong wrong decisions? Nalinlang ka ng kalaban. 
Nakinig ka sa tao o sa sarili mo, hindi sa Diyos. Di ba nag-iisip ka na ngayon? Kitang-kita ko yung mga mata nyo nga eh. Ano yung mga bagay-bagay na ninakaw niya? Your marriage. Your joy. Di ba? Marami. Kaya today, we would say, enough, devil. Tapos na. Hindi na ako papayag. Today is the day of restoration. At sa pwede mo sabihin sa Diablo, tapos ka na. Tama na. Ngayon na. Ang aking victory. Hello? Gagawin natin yan. Amen? Excited ka? Isulat mo na ako may ballpen ka. Ano yung gusto mong ipag-pray after this? Kasi kayang-kayang ibalik ni Lord at pag binalik ni Lord lahat ng ninako na yan, then I could say you are ruling and reigning in that area. Amen? Now church, unang-una, you need to settle that in your heart. Just like blind Bartimaeus. Sinetel niya sa puso niya. Lord, hindi kita palalampasin nang hindi mo ko binibless. Narinig kita eh, nandito ka na eh. Alam ko ikaw yung miracle worker eh. Alam ko ikaw ang healer ko. Kaya Lord, hindi ka lalampas sa karsadang ito na hindi mo ko napapansin. Kaya nung pinapatahimik siya, all the more he cried out. And that's what you need to do. When your enemy is saying to you or your flesh is saying to you, silence, kapatid, all the more sumigaw ka. Lord, son of David, have mercy on me. Amen? One, it needs to be settled in your heart. Mas lakasan mo ang sigaw. Hallelujah! May natututunan po ba tayo? Alright, good. Punta muna tayo sa Acts 3, 17 to 21. Acts 3, 17, 21. Then Jesus, eto po si Peter, okay? Si Peter po, isang araw, kasi nga, kailangan nilang, meron siya pinagaling, I think it's in the, that gate, beautiful, at ang sabi, pinag, pinagaling niya yung may sakit. At ito po, nagkaroon ng commotion, ano nangyayari, eto sinabi ni Pedro, Yet now, brethren, I know that you did it in ignorance, yung pag-crucify sa Panginoon, as did also your rulers. But those things which God foretold by the mouth of all His prophets that the Christ would suffer, He has thus fulfilled. So sinasabi ni Pedro, merong mga prophecy. Okay, kaya nangyari rin to. Verse 19, repent, magsisi. Therefore, and be conferred that the true sins may be blotted out so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. Kapag ikaw nagsisi, may panahon ng kaginhawahan na darating sa'yo. Amen. Verse 20, and that he may send Jesus Christ who was preached to you before, whom heaven must receive. Tinanggap na, nananahan ng Panginoon, nandun siya in heaven's throne room, until the times of restoration of all things. Pagpapanumbalik ng lahat ng mga bagay, which God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. So sinasabi ni Pedro dito, there are things to be restored that the prophets prophesied years and years ago that Jesus will not return until all things have been restored. So meron mga, although this was meant for Israel, I want you to, say, to think about this, kapag ang Israel ay nagkaroon ng repentance, that is only one of those things to be restored. Maraming gustong ibalik si Lord before He returns for us. Okay, so there is, there, merong events na mangyayari. If this is for Israel, so in some sense, for us today, this reminds me of 2 Chronicles 7.14. If God people, if God's people will repent, humble themselves before the Lord, turn away from wicked ways, 2 Chronicles 7.14, Turn away from wicked ways and seek God. Then God will hear from heaven, will forgive their sins, hello, and will heal the land. That's restoration. Amen. So may mga bansa na marirestore and times of refreshing, times of revival will happen to the nations. Yan ang plano ng Panginoon. Restoration. Kaya ang bansa Pilipinas, there is a shaking in other nations because Jesus wants to return but He needs to shake the nations. Read the book of Haggai at merong magkaka-revival. Amen? 
and times of refreshing will happen. So, there are things na sinabi ng mga propeta to be restored to God's children. Kaya nga mga kapatid, kung merong restoration at may mga pangako pala si Lord, then there are things that we can ask God now to be restored to us bago siya dumating. Do I hear an amen? The Word of God says, ask and you shall receive. Do I hear an amen? amen. So we can ask God for restoration of things that the enemy has stolen from us. And if you believe by faith that God, just like blind Bartimaeus, God restored immediately what he asked for. Marami! There are so many stories of healing, deliverances, wealth, health, lahat yan, relationship. One book that I want you to read when you have time is the book of Joel. Kasi ito mga prophecies, things like this is so important. In Joel chapter 1, may istorya po dito that there would be mahaba ito, kaya isa-summarize ko. In the book of Joel chapter 1, Prophet Joel prophesied that the country of Judah magkakaroon sila ng malaking, malaking devastation. Malaking pagkawasa. So sinabi niya, nagbigay siya ng warning, the Lord is going to, alam niya to eh, kasi alam niya this is a judgment from God. So nagkaroon, nagka, sabi niya, mag, nagka, magkakaroon ng salot, plague, salot ng balang, a plague of locusts. And all these locusts will destroy the countryside and all vegetation, lahat ng crops na sa bansang Judah. And so in one day, sa isang araw lang, this beautiful lush land, so napakaganda, Kinain ng balang, nagkaroon ng peste, kinain ng balang ang lahat ng pastulan, okay, all the pastures, lahat ng crops, lahat ng vegetation, kinain pati mga balat ng mga puno, at ang matindi pa, kinain ng ang lahat. So ano epekto nun? Famine. Magkakaroon ng tagutom. At dahil nagkakaroon ng tagutom, mamamatay ang mga cattle sa mga sheep at pati mga tao. At nagkaroon ng tagtuyot. At ang nakakalungkot, pati yung mga binhi nila, nagagamitin nila sa susunod na planting, kinain din. So lahat, in one day, everything were, you know, all of this were gone. So ano nangyari, sabi nga ni, ni Joel, wala akong magagawa kundi ito ay isang judgment of God, paghatol ng Diyos, dahil nga malayo ang kanyang mga anak sa kanya. So when you go to chapter 2, these are things that I've seen it. Number one, God will restore years. Joel 2, verses 25 to 27. So I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the crawling locust, the consuming locust, and the chewing locust. Parang tinawag ni Lord lahat ng klase ng balang. My great army which I sent among you, you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God who has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be put to shame. Then you shall know that I am the, in the midst of Israel. I am the Lord your God and there is no other. My people shall never be put to shame. Kapatid, ang sinasabi ng Panginoon, after all ng mga pagkawasak, dinakaw, kinain ng jablo ng kaaway lahat. Okay, sometimes, I want you to know that trials are allowed by God. Okay? Mabait ang Diyos. Pero kung ikaw ay hello? Sa iyong tamang landas, God will shake you a little bit. God will put some kind of trials to see, so that you will see your heart. Para makita mo ang puso mo. Para makita mo ang kahinaan mo, your weaknesses. Para i-direct ka ni Lord sa tamang daan. Amen? So hindi tayo pupunta doon kasi ayaw natin yun. Alright? But God, because of kind, His goodness, His merciful, oh my goodness, eto pa pangako niya. Kahit ganun kasama ang kanyang mga anak, God will restore years. Okay? Sabi dito, the years that the swarming locusts has eaten. Ilang panahon na ba ang nanakaw sa'yo ng Restore those years, mga kapatid. Years that Satan have devoured from you, has devoured from you. Years of bad decision. Years of sicknesses. Years of 
losses in your business, God is promising aking isa sa uli sa iyo, ibabalik ko sa iyo ang mga taon na kinain ng balang. Wow, what a good news. That's mercy. That's grace. Amen? Grabe po ang Panginoon. Kaya I believe God will restore those years. And I believe hindi lang years, pati time. Na hospital ka, na disability ka, hindi ka nakapagtrabaho, God will restore that back to you. Amen? Hindi limited ang Diyos. Alam niya, pangangailangan mo. I know some of us here, you know, are sick. God will restore health sa iyo. He will restore your health. God will restore years. God will restore health. Jeremiah 30, verse 17. For I will restore health to you and heal you of your wounds, says the Lord. Sa mga nakikinig, maniwala ka sa sinasabing to, panunumbalikin ni Lord sa iyo yung kalusugan. Hallelujah. At pagagaling ka niya, pagagaling ka niya sa iyong mga sugat. Inner healing, no problem kay Lord. Physical healing, kaya ni Lord. Amen? So God is promising that He will restore your health and heal your wounds before Jesus returns. Amen? You know, kailangan mo tong gawin, kapatid. The words of the prophets is so clear. Kaya pag ikaw na nangalangin, Lord, I believe sa promises mo, heal me. Heal me. Deliver me. Heal my inner wounds. You know, mga kapatid, minsan nasa atin din ang problem eh. Kaya kailangan, kailangan magpatawad tayo. Hello? Gawin natin ang dapat gawin. At ang sinasabi dito, God will heal you. So whatever condition you are, you are in right now, if you could have mental health problems, easy kay Lord dyan. Yang utak natin, anxiety, depression, kaya ni Lord dyan. If you're suffering diabetes, heart diseases, any problems, high blood pressure, asthma, even cancer, it will bow to the name of Jesus. Amen. So restoration is so important because this is a promise. And when you pray, you can say, God, I believe your word. Overhaul my body. Amen. I always pray that. Sinasabi ko, Lord, ayoko tumanda. Beauty pa rin. <laughs> Adi ba? Glory ni Lord. Lagi ka sa presensya niya. Ayoko talaga manghina, Lord. Kasi pag lalo na memory loss, oh my goodness, paano ko makakapag-preach? Diba? Kaya ko, Lord, I don't like that in the name of Jesus. Kaya kung sasabihin na sa lahi mo yan, wala na yan. Tinapos na ni Lord ang sumpa. Number three, God will restore your soul. This is the most important. If you want inner healing, physical healing, go to this. 3 John, 3 John, chapter 1, verse 2. Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health. Just as your soul prospers. Wow. Dinadalangin, okay? Na sa lahat ng mga bagay ay mapabuti daw ang yung kalusugan. Kung paano nasa mabuti rin kalagayan ang yung kaluluwa. You know, when God restore your soul, all will be restored. Kaya number one is the restoration of the soul. Remember Psalm 22, 23 verse 3? Ano sabi niya? He restores my soul. God restores my soul. Amen. He leads me to paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Only God can restore your soul. Shala makakapagbalik. What is in the soul? Mind, isip, your will, kalooban, and emotions. Damdamin mo. God can restore them all. Your soul has these three. Amen. So the process of restoration of your soul, pwedeng maging mahaba, pwedeng maging maikli. If you want your soul be restored, it depends upon you. Ask your neighbor, do you want your soul to be restored? Yes. How? It's up to you. You want it long? Nasayo. You want it short? Nasayo. It's a choice. The moment you surrender and you say, God, do it, then that's it. The fastest. Nang pag-surrender mo, pag-subo mo, 
everything, nire-remind ka na Lord, then that's it. You want your soul restored? Number one, when you forgive someone, hello? Una muna, actually, you should be asking forgiveness for your sin. Humingi ka ng kapatawaran, then He restores your soul. Number two, when you forgive, release forgiveness to other people, God restores your soul. Do I hear an amen? amen. Hindi nga niya pakikinggan ng yung panalangin kung meron kang galit sa ibang tao. He will never listen to your prayer. You got to reconcile to that person first. When you let go of your anger, your bitterness, do not allow bitter roots to come into your heart. God restores your mind, your will, your soul, and it will be at peace with God. You will have peace and you will get your healing. Amen? Kaya it's so important you always ask God to show you your heart. Baka may natitira pa eh. Okay? And, when, and what are the effects of the soul? The effects of the restoration of your soul? You can read Psalm 23. There are only six verses there. At mababasa mo, makikita mo ang maganda. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness. When your soul is restored, it removes all the burdens. It removes all the plans and schemes. Lahat ng balakid na nilalagay ng kalaban, destroyed in the name of Jesus. Tama ba? Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. When your soul is, this, is restored, there is no fear of evil. Wala kang takot. Kahit sa ang landas ka pumunta. Hello? Amen? Kasi kasama mo ang Diyos. Amen? Kailangan mo maunayan, maunawaan yan. Wala kang katatakutan na kasamaan. Tama po ba? Amen? So when you, and at ang sabi pa nito, ang ganda nito, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Wow! Grabe! Ang Panginoon mismo ang gumagawa ng hapag para sa iyo sa harap ng iyong mga kaaway. What does it show? To honor. To honor you. Speaks of victory. It speaks of celebration. Kumakain ka sa harap ng iyong kaaway, eh di ba matay sila sa inggit? <laughs> di ba? Grabe. You anoint my head with oil. When your soul is restored, the anointing flows. Anointing is the empowerment to do the job. The anointing breaks the yoke. Come on. Ano man ang ilagay ng Diablo? Bro broken yan because of the anointing. And my cup runs over. When your soul is restored, you will have abundance running over. Plenty, sik sik, no? umaapaw, sabi nga ni Bishop. Di ba? Umaapaw na pagpapala. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. When your soul is re restored, goodness and mercy will follow you. Grabe, susundan ka ng kabutihan at kaawaan ng Diyos. Pumunta ka sa kaliwa, nandun yan. Pumunta ka sa kanan, nandun si mercy. Sa kaliwa, si goodness. Grabe. Diba? Sunod sila ng sunod sa iyo. When your soul is restored, you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Maninirahan ka sa kanyang bahay, sa kanyang tahanan. What a beautiful picture. Mananahang kang palagi. So it's so important, okay? Binigyan ako ng time, 10 minutes na lang daw. You need, your soul must be restored. Health, wealth, relationship, time, family, finances, okay? Lahat ng ito, mga kapatid, naka-anchored. Ano ba tagal ng anchored? Naka-ankla sa pinaka-main source. Okay, it's your relationship with God. Number one, you should, the process is like this. Kanina sinabi ko, you got to settle it in your heart. You want it back. Lahat ng ninakaw ng, dio, ng demonyo. Number two, your God encounters. Your God encounters is so important. We're in, in this encounter, susunod ang number three, the renewing of your mind. Your mind needs to be healed. Your mind needs to be restored, renewed, sabi ng salita. Okay? It needs to be renewed. You need to fill your mind with godly thoughts. You need to fill your mind with understanding of the word. The word of God is life. 
Amen. You need to fill your mind with God's thoughts. And when your mind is renewed, when your mind is healed, when your mind is filled with godly thoughts, then your soul is restored. Amen. Amen. Narinig po ba to? Tapos, ito po yung huling gula. The next process is declaration. Gagawin natin yan. Isaiah 42, verse 22. But this is a people robbed and plundered. All of them are snared in holes, speaking for Israel and for us today. And they are hidden in prison houses. They are for prey. And no one delivers for plunder and no one says restore. No one says, walang nagsasalita, walang nagsasabi, walang nagdideklara, manumbalik ang lahat ng ninakaw ng Diablo. So, sinasabi ni Isaiah dito, ang bayang dinanakawan, ang mga taong dinanakawan, at sinasansam ng demonyo, ang lahat ng inyong mga pag-aari, lahat ng kasiyahan, finances, all these things, relationship, lahat tayo ay nasa kahukay at nakakubli sa mga bilangguan, sila ay naging biktima daw at walang nagliligtas. At ang isa pang ginasinasabi niya, at walang magsabing iyong panumbalikin. Lord, restore! All the enemy have stolen from me. Walang nagsasalita. So these people, tayo, na ninakawan, inabuse, niransak, winlander ng kalaban, kailangan natin at walang nagdi-deliver, hindi ginagawa ng kapatiran, hindi ginagawa ng iba. Kaya ang sinasabi do, dito kasi walang nagsasabing restore. Can you say restore? So these people are now in prison and God wants you to say the word. Kailangan may magsabi, kailangan may magdeklara, kailangan may magsalita at magdekree. Panginoon, iyong panumbalikin, restore everything that were stolen from me. Amen? So why? Why do I see this? Say this, because God gave you the power and authority to stop the enemy. The word of God is so clear. He is under your feet. And no weapons of the enemy will prosper. Hallelujah. Tama po ba? Proverbs 18, 21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Ang kamatayan at ang buhay ay nasa kapangyarihan ng iyong dila. Kapatid, ano sinasabi mo? Ano sinasabi mo? Sinabi mo na ba sa Diablo? Tama na. Hanggang dyan ka lang. One time, nagkakas, nagkaroon ng malaking, malaking baha hanggang bewang sa Mercedes subdivision. Tandang-tanda na ako, sabi ko, Bisha, pinasok na lahat ang mga kapitbahay namin. Nagtaas na ng mga gamit. Nasa second floor na gamit nila. Sa amin pumapasok na. Nasa garahe na. Isa lang sinabi ni Bishop, hanggang dyan ka lang. Hindi pumasok. Tuyo kami. Gumanya ng tubig. God. You have the power and authority. Amen. The power of declaration. Five minutes. No one is declaring restore. Job 22, 28. You will also declare a thing. And it will be established for you so light will shine on your ways. Ikaw ay magpapasya. Magpapasya tayo ngayon ha. Magpapasya na isang bagay at ito ay matatatag sa iyo. It will be established. Amen. At ang liwanag ay sisilang sa iyong mga daan. Hallelujah. What a good God. Kahit anong nakawin mo, makapangyarihan ka pa rin sa Kanya. Because you are a child of God. And this is the last verse. I want you to catch this. Zechariah 9.12 Zechariah 9.12 Return to the stronghold. Your stronghold is the Lord Jesus Christ. You prisoners of hope. Even today, I declare, God is saying to you, Church, I will restore double to you. Hallelujah. God will restore double. I feel the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. The effects of this declaration that we will do today is massive restoration. God will restore relationship. God will restore jobs. God will restore the unity in the body of Christ. God will restore your health, your wealth. Are you ready? Let's all stand up. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Father. Oh, Actually, gusto kong mag-declare muna tayo at kung alam nyo at hindi ko pinaghanda kayo, worship team, we will take it from the enemy's camp.
Do you know that song? Baka hindi nyo alam. Okay? So, I went to the enemy's camp. <laughs> Hallelujah! Panginoon, patawarin niyo po kami. Patawarin niyo po kami na pinabayaan namin ang kalaban na nakawin na nakawin ang lahat ng binigay mo sa amin. Our relationship, our health, our wealth, at mga panahon at oras na ninakaw niya. Sa oras na ito, Panginoon, we, we are settling it in our hearts. Sa araw na ito, nilalagay namin, nagpapasya kami, na kukunin namin pabalik ang lahat ng ninakaw ng Diablo. Hallelujah! Forgive us, O oh Lord. Today, thank you for the encounters we have. So we ask forgiveness, Father. Bless our hearts, O oh Lord God. So today, church, listen to my leading, okay? Church, I want you to think about this. I'm giving you a few minutes now while I'm doing this exhortation. Think of what the enemy has stolen from you. Unang-una sa lahat na gusto nyo hingin sa Panginoon. Just like Bartimaeus, we will cry out to God. So in the count of three, sasabihin natin sa kanya, Panginoon, okay? One, two, three. Panginoon, humihingi kami sa iyo. Come on, say it in your own words. Say what you want. God, I want restoration of my family. Yung aking anak na napalayo, ibalik mo. Yung aking asawa na nasa bisyo, tanggalin mo sa bisyo, sa pangalan ni Jesus. Yun din ako ng Diablo sa amin, ng mga negosyo na sinara ng demonyo, Lord. Re-restore mo double in the name of Jesus. Panginoon, yung aming mga relasyon sa aming mga kaibigan, kamag-anak, Lord, i-re-restore mo. Panunong balikin mo ang dating sigla ng aming mga relasyon. Lahat ng mga pera na nawala, kinuha, dahil sa bad investment, bad businesses, bad decisions, wrong opportunities, lahat mga scammers and everything. Lord, ibabalik mo mga pera ito na ninakaw ng Diablo sa pangalan ni Jesus. Salamat Panginoon, naniniwala ka po. Come on, say it! Say it! Say it! Say it! Thank you, Jesus. You will restore them back. You will restore all. Hallelujah. Lord, your word says you will restore double. It is according to your will. Your will says that you want us healed. The enemy is here to steal, kill, and joy. But you said, Jesus, you came here to give us life and life abundantly. So we claim this, Lord. We are declaring, declare. We are getting it back today. Today. Restoration. Can you say this? Jablo! Tama na! Tapos ka na! Ibabalik ng Diyos ang lahat ng ninakaw mo sa pangalan ni Jesus.
bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Don't, don't, sit, don't sit down yet. Let's do a declaration for this year. Can you repeat this after me? Today, Today I, declare I declare and decree, and decree 2024. 2024. The year of the Lord. The Lord. Favor. Favor. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I know we don't have any altar call, but I, I, I feel that... Uh, if, if, any, if anyone is sick, mapupo kayo. Kung meron pong may sakit, kung merong may sakit, tumayo kayo kung nasa saan kayo. Kung kayo may sakit, kung nasa saan kayo, tumayo kayo. Kung kayo uupo, as nyo inyong dalawang kamay, ministers, you see the ones that are sick go, pray for them. Pray. If there's... Are you believing for God's miracle healing? Amen. Go, go lay hands on them. Lay hands on them. Also, yung mga katabi nila, you can lay hands on them. By the blood of the Lamb. By the stripes of Jesus Christ. Sickness and disease. Be healed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Today, Lord, we ask for your grace. For your people, for their healing. Hallelujah. Receive your miracle. Receive your healing. In Jesus' name. Online, put your hands on the screen. By the blood of the Lamb, by the stripes of Jesus. Sickness and disease. Be healed in Jesus' mighty name. Be healed. He is a miracle working God. Hallelujah. Jehovah Rapha. He is our healer. Amen.